So in just a few days, we have a very controversial game coming to the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. And it really shouldn't be a controversial situation at all, but I mean, that's just kind of what it's become. I, of course, am talking about Red Dead Redemption. Not a remake, not a remaster, what Rockstar is calling a conversion of the game coming to the PlayStation systems and the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game is skipping out on Xbox because the Xbox 360 version of Red Dead Redemption is backwards compatible. You can put that disc into your Xbox Series X and play the game and get the same sort of enhancements. But the whole conversion thing is kind of confusing people. We did get a trailer for the game, which I'll show some snippets of here and there, and it looks looks a little bit different than what we see with the original game as far as the color palette and whatnot is concerned. But Nintendo Switch owners are looking at this and they're like, well, is this indicative of the Switch game or is this indicative of the PlayStation game? There are going to be some minor differences between them. Of course, the PlayStation version will have a bit of a higher resolution than the Nintendo Switch version. The Nintendo Switch version is allegedly 1080p docked, 720p in handheld mode, which should be completely fine. But how is it going to look? What's the file size of the game? You know, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, but now we might have some answers to those questions. We did learn the file size of this game, and that is an 11.5 gigabyte file size. Now, that kind of leads me to some more questions because of the fact that, well, that would mean that Rockstar would need to use a 16 gigabyte cartridge in order to put the entire game on the cartridge when we look at the price point of this game it's fifty dollars now a lot of debate has been done about the price point of the game because i mean that's pretty expensive when you think about how old this game actually is so playstation owners are a bit upset by this but i feel like nintendo switch owners aren't quite as upset because of an obvious main reason. No, they're not being apologists about this. It's simply because of the fact that Red Dead Redemption has never been on a Nintendo platform before. If you're a diehard Nintendo fan and you don't own the other platforms, this is going to be potentially your first time to play this game. And of course, the whole portability aspect of it. There is no native PC port for Red Dead Redemption, so you can't play it on your Steam Deck or your Asus ROG Ally. You would have to play the Nintendo Nintendo Switch version. So I feel like Nintendo fans have been a little bit more accepting of this price point, but that 11.5 gigabytes kind of worries me a little bit because I think that means when this physical version comes out in October, it might not all be on the cartridge. But everyone's been wondering how this game is going to look on the Switch. Obviously, you could talk about specs and all that sort of stuff, but that doesn't really mean anything until you actually see what the game looks like running on the Switch. Well, we have our first screenshots of the Nintendo Switch version of the game, so we're going to take a look at them now together, and I'll give you guys my sort of thoughts on this based on what we're seeing here. And by the way, I am buying this game on day one because I got to talk about it. Like, this is easy, easy views, people. Easy views. So here we have Marston on his, on his horsey. I'm not a big fan of horses, honestly. You guys know I'm kind of freaked out by horses. But this looks pretty good, honestly. You know, this looks nice. The colors definitely pop a little bit more than the original Xbox 360 version. The When the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 version of the game came out, this was during a time where muted colors were everything. You were doing a lot of browns and stuff like that. Everything had like a dark, dingy look to it. But this looks a bit more colorful. Um, it looks a little bit soft as far as like the, the image is concerned. Like not quite maybe as sharp as I was hoping for. But, you know, that's okay. You know, you can't really tell a whole hell of a lot from screenshots but it does sort of give you at least an indication of what to expect with this so i think this looks good the textures themselves look good the colors look a hell of a lot better than they did on the original 360 release of the game and then moving right along here this actually looks really nice like the facial hair looks really good once again i think the colors really sort of pop when you look at the background stuff you know, you're getting a little bit more of a little bit lower resolution, I guess you would say. There's not quite as much like look at this over here. This definitely looks sharper and has a bit more detail than this does. So I'm expecting some sort of like scaling. You, you know what I'm saying? Where, where images in the background don't look quite as crisp as something that's maybe a little bit closer to you. And it kind of gets sharper as you get closer to it. Now, 
that can be fine but that can also be a bit of a detriment to a game if the field of vision is too small and this definitely is an open style game in which you're going to be visiting very large areas so how that will play into when you're actually playing the game that kind of remains to be seen but we do get a bit of an indication of it and like i said I think the character models look very good like there's a lot of attention to detail and the colors definitely pop a bit more the trees you know they look fine for what they are moving right along though we have this nice sunset and you can kind of see a little bit of artifacting here um on the character and the horse and whatnot a little bit around the trees the cacti i guess you would call them but once again you know i think the colors are definitely a lot brighter than what we saw in the xbox 360 version of the game so that that's a good thing in my opinion you know once again it's going to be something that you know there's going to be lots of scaling as far as what's going to be crisp what's going to be a little bit maybe a little bit blurry as you're coming up to it but really in handheld mode you're not going to notice like probably any of this uh moving right along though i think this looks absolutely fantastic you could definitely get more of an indication you know the trees these are probably going to pop in and be more plentiful as you get closer to them but I guess this kind of does give us a bit of a, of a depth of field with this game because, you know, this building is pretty far in the background, but it still looks decent enough. The lighting, of course, looks fantastic. Like, this is a gorgeous looking scene. And this is a very, you know, this game came out in, what, 2010? But this still definitely holds up somewhat. And, you know, I, I think this is probably the most impressive screenshot we have of the game i just i love the the shadows i love the colors you know we have the green the red and they definitely pop a lot more on the switch version of the game and the upcoming playstation version than they kind of do on the xbox 360 original version of the game moving right along i had to put these all together in a weird format because they're avif files i don't know Here's another look here. We got a zombie, zombie, zombie. Once again, we have another nighttime scene. Uh, the background, yeah, you know, that that's a that's a low resolution texture there. You know, there's, there's no denying that. So that's a little bit concerning. But, you know, when the game's in motion, you're not going to notice it probably nearly as much. So I think it's fine. But kind of weird that this is one of the screenshots they use because I don't think I would have used this like... This background is definitely a very low polygonal background. But once again, the characters look great. The the environment looks great up until that. So, you know, it's whatever. And then we have here some zombies, some straight up zombies. I think this is a really nice picture as well because you can see sort of the detail on, you know, the blood and all that sort of stuff. We don't really have any sort of major problems going on with stuff as far as stuff in the background. The, the textures look good. The train looks good. This lighting is very, you know, it, it's actual lighting. It's not just an actual beam. It's a, you know, it disperses. It, it acts like lights really do. So overall, I'm I'm pretty confident in this version of the game. I think this game has some potential here, and I, I think it's going to be a, a hopefully a quality port. After what we got with the GTA trilogy, you know that was a Grove Street game, which is a great song, Grove Street Party by Waka Flocka, Flocka, but wasn't a great studio to handle this game i think red dead redemption is going to be a lot better i think this is a good look at the switch version of the game and i'm hopeful that it's going to be a good version so i'll be checking the game out when it releases so make sure you guys check back on all of that sort of stuff let me know in the comments section down below though are you picking up this game are you skipping out on this game like i get it you know if if i was just wasn't who i was i don't know that i would buy it on day one for 50 dollars on the switch but you know, I got to cover the game and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and um, like the video. I was supposed to say hit the subscribe button. I have like a thing that I kind of just rifle through and, you know, I messed it up there. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.